All right, welcome to Planet Dope Eating. I'm your semi-friendly tour guide. Boom. This is where we do all the medicated mukbangs, inspo for stoners, MMJ patients, and those who would like to partake but can't. With that being said, I'm about to take a pause for the cause and go take my meds <laughs> and BRB. Alright, <clears throat> make sure all that smoke cleared out. Um, for those of you who are wondering, strain sour diesel. Alrighty, with that being said, <clears throat> I'm proud of myself. Don't I look good? <laughs> Anywho, I got a pineapple Doritos off to the side, get a water bottle, and also a little hot sauce packet is 30 milligrams. I got this from a dispensary in San Diego. Let me get the camera to focus on it. There we go. Crazy, I tried like Googling it to get more. Nothing came up, so we'll see. Got a little sauce. It's not B Love sauce. It's not Dame Dash sauce. It's called um Oh, Three to Shiway. It's called Three to Shiway. I did not make it. I got it from a really great restaurant, seafood restaurant here in Chicago. Oh well. Anyway, so yeah, it's super fun. Mm. It's so good. It's basically um like mmm. Cajun, lemon pepper, and garlic. And I tell you, delicious. Like, when I go there, I've been going there for like three years. I never throw my bag away. This is actually a bottle, though, I purchased. Mm, my bad if y'all can hear that. The air kicking off. It's hot in here. All it's cooking. But anyway, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Get my face out so it can focus. Oh, I've been going there for like three years. And I reuse the seasoning from my bag. I've seasoned salmon with it. It's super delicious. Um, <clears throat> I think I even seasoned some turkey legs with it. Yeah, turkey drumsticks. Let me get y'all a close up one more time. So, I hope. <laughs> oh, just in case my leg fell. I got about one more week. Technically, I I did a little walking with my crutch, but basically another week before I get to like walk, weight bear. And what's crazy to me is now the bottom of my foot hurt. For those of you who catching up, I fractured my ankle, my fibula to be exact. And this is the second time in one year. But anywho, not the same one though. It was the other one. And it was like literally week, like a week from being a year. When I say mm, it's 
just so good. Mm. When I say I did the most to like make sure y'all can see all this deliciousness, my camera is currently on top of a Ritz box. Some mayo, not, not lettuce, but like another box. <clears throat> another box and then two cases from some spec cell phone holders. Oh, and a Ziploc bag with a Lysol wipe in it. <laughs> sorry but like when you boil your corn it's like the cob itself still be sweet and juicy so I need to get the juice up out of there now one thing I've never tried is the cucumber but I have them let me get this one <clears throat> so this will be my first time oh let's see this is what I want y'all to see like this is just some of the seasoning and not even this wasn't even half the bottle but that's just like how much seasoning they give you and why I'm able to reuse it for other stuff mmm it is good if it's just the cucumber is just that good or I just let it sauce that much and when you get to like burst the juice from the cucumber it's like mm. even better <clears throat> okay one shrimp and then I'm gonna get to this apology that I owe <clears throat> I don't make those sense how good is it Fun fact, I love seafood. <clears throat> I love seafood like since always. <clears throat> My favorite was crab. My grandmother would always make me crab. That was like my thing. Crab and I like double delights. Which is now, I can't think of it, but basically for those of you who <laughs> don't know. <clears throat> double delights were basically like yogurt. Vanilla yogurt with a little cup on the side of some type of um, topping or whatever that you can mix in <clears throat> and turn it to, I want to say it's Chalbani that has something similar now. And if you're having flavors like pumpkin pie, key lime, paradise, mm, stuff like that. But that was like the thing. <clears throat> yeah. That was like the thing. My favorite was crab and that. And I love seafood so much so. When I was a kid. Little story time. <laughs> when I was a kid. I went to the fish market. Or the fish house. 
I think it's called the fish house here, but like other places probably call it the fish market. But my mama and I can't remember who else was with us. And we were getting catfish. Or at least I was watching catfish. And I saw the butcher start hammering the fish in his head. Boy! <laughs> Y'all want to see a kid cry. I was like, oh no. I was like, what did he do to you? Why are you doing that? And then, and like all the adults were like laughing at me. I remember, I remember, I thought that was like, I mean, now to be older, it's like so effed up. But it was just like, of course, you know, they thought it was like kind of cute and funny or whatever. But I'm like, wow, what did he do to you? And then to further traumatize me, they put the fish in the back seat of the car on the floor underneath me. That bag was jumping. <laughs> and I thought I was tripping. But come to find out throughout the years when I told the story, at some point, of course, it was known that like the nerves are still kind of active when the fish is like freshly butchered. But I love me some crab though. Probably could show me smacking that muff, mofo in the head. <laughs> I was about to say motherfucker. <laughs> With smacking him in the head, I would have been like, good for his ass. <sighs> like, the cucumber is really good really good I know it's trendy people are doing like eggs that's one of the one things I'm really not interested in even though I like boiled eggs as a kid I'm really not interested in I say that now and then next seafood boil is gonna be an egg here that's gonna be my first time trying to egg. I'm like oh it's so good it's so good <laughs> I want to shout. It's so good. Okay, so to get into the apology I owe, everybody who's been rocking with me, I have not been being my most authentic self. And I'm sorry. I apologize. You ain't called me out. You was cool with it. You was just like, okay, we gonna see when she gonna do what she gonna do. And self-reflection. Self self assessment. I realize what what's the problem? What's the problem? What are we doing here? My channel is dope eating because I wanted to do medicated mukbangs. That's why I was like so uh like, ooh, dope eating play on words, right? If that's the case, stop trying to water it down. It's weed, you know? 
and I guess I got into the fact that different people have different demographics or I forgot that technically for a moment because a lot of Mubangas their audience is children and I'm like oh well if that's the case I should you know be kid friendly and it's just like off top there's some kids this is gonna be <coughs> oh <coughs> god damn <coughs> oh I might have to edit that out I felt like that coughing was so loud it was painful I'll say that but it'll be safe for some kids because they're MMJ patients and for those of you who are not familiar with the term medical marijuana patients but then there are going to be kids that is not it's going to be adults who is not going to be okay with and that's fine because whether this was the play on my channel or not I wouldn't be for everybody regardless you know so I'm not playing it down anymore I'm owning it and I'm being myself I haven't really been cursing for those of you who peep my IG it's curse words and kush but B you don't even curse oh but I do <laughs> for those of you who know me but It is always funny because when people meet me for the first time, I always shock the shit out of them when I curse. Because I don't know if it's like because I'm quote unquote on the shorter side or the glasses. Everybody try to play glasses where it's like we ain't got G. Like we don't look intimidating, but whatever. Or maybe because I look so young and angelic, I don't know. But when I curse, people be tripped the fuck out for the first time. And I'll admit, sometimes I do it just to do it, just to fuck with people. Like literally, if I'm at a store and it's like something's happening with like an employee, I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. I ain't want that shit no way. <laughs> and before you know it, they smiling or whatever. And low key, Mm, excuse me if they the right type of people which is my type of people that would have just brightened their day a little bit I'm owning it. If I get the same five people watching it every video, that's perfectly fine. If don't nobody feel me, it'll be alright. But I'm cool as fuck. Everybody feel me. Did she say that? Yes, she did. <laughs> and if you don't, you're just a hater. Or, I don't fuck with you. Because I can tell something ain't right. Because a lot of the time, I be seeing the bullshit. And even if you like people play a good role being funny it's just certain behaviors it's just certain behaviors that people who are phony exhibit and people who are authentic exhibit
I forgot what I was talking about, <clears throat> but you guys, I didn't make it clear. I'm owning <clears throat> that these are medicated mukbangs. I'm owning who I am for the whole world because this is accessible to literally the whole world. And I'm cursing because I curse a lot. Like, dead ass. I think I'm going to be a parent that lets their kid curse. But let me be clear. The motherfucker ain't cursing at me. And for the most part, they're not cursing no adult either. And why do I say the most part? Why do you say the most part, B? Because... I'm not for that toxic stuff where people be like, oh, don't do no adult. It's some dirty ass adults out here. And when you was a kid, you encountered one unless you that dirty ass adult now. And, oh, I wish I had more muscles. To get a kid to subscribe to uh, you listen to adults always or something like that. Nah, some of them is real foul. And no, don't listen to that bitch or that bitch ass because nah but like like Kevin Hart and his ago he was like his mom said chill yo teacher I said hey wait 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 you want me to say it just like that yeah 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 you can say it just like that tell that <coughs> <coughs> bitch I see it <laughs> a situation like that or if they're explaining something to me that they're passionate about or if verbatim they were repeating something and I want to know what was said and they got a curse to tell me verbatim what was said This is so good. But to be clear, no, they will not be cursing at me. And they will not just be out in public cursing when they with me. And I won't be one of them parents who when they curse think it's cute. A lot of like young and real hood ass parents be thinking that shit cute when like a three year old five six year old cursing like a grown ass adult I don't think that shit cute I'm gonna smack the shit out your kid I'm gonna give them around they can curse me that lemon is really good if they could get cursed if they could curse me they can get with me Yeah, I'm saying. But let me move along before somebody try to <clears throat> say that's child abuse or I'm a child abuser. Oh, I'm like, come on now. I'm getting the table dirty. I'm like, when did my bowl get dirty?
Mussels are super cheap. Excuse me, I got like a bag of them from the freezer section. Um, sorry if I keep putting that bowl in the way. <clears throat> but from the freezer section, but one ninety nine. I'm looking at my camera because I'm looking at how much time has passed and I'm like, wait, ain't no way <clears throat> I ate that much of that small amount of time. Or we'll cover as many topics in a small amount of time. So hopefully. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's going up. It's going up. <laughs> Swear to God, I thought only like four minutes passed. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. It's going up. <laughs> you do not only have to have um crab for the lemon, y'all. <clears throat> I just do something to it. I get why everybody always freaking doing a seafood boil. Well, once you get that Sam's Club membership. Because you could get like a whole bag of shrimp for um, $15 to $20. And potatoes and cucumber and the rest of that, like five bucks. So, and it's a whole other half for my boyfriend when he get here. So it's plenty food. Mm. Um, oh, and what inspired me a little bit is I had like the munchies at like 2 o'clock the other day. And I'm like, man, I'm not finna cook all this. But I just did one little pot of water, like threw in a couple potatoes first, corn, shrimp, five. All right, I think I ran out of time. Which is unfortunate because I'm going to keep eating this. But, um, <laughs> if I have to sign out, I gotta tell y'all thanks for watching. Hopefully, we still cool. And if so, like this video, <laughs> comment, and definitely subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Help your girl with her grind in 1K, alright? Alright, love ya. Stay healthy and hydrated. But it fell, but it didn't hit the floor. I want to see if it don't cut out there. We're going to still be eating. Mmm. I'm getting full though.